In mid-November, Dell had its latest storage forum in Paris, and while in the City of Enlightenment, I was able to grab some of Dell's key storage executives for brief interviews. I spent some time with Travis Vihill to talk about the Equalogic product range and its place in the market and at Dell. Travis, good to see you. So, uh, no specific announcements uh, from the Equalogic side of the company this week, but uh, I know a lot has happened over the last few months, so perhaps you could touch on those and, if you like, the, the market momentum. Absolutely. So, there wasn't any specific announcement at this show, but over the last six months, we've had a couple of big announcements. One uh, is, uh, as you mentioned, the 100,000th array that we shipped to a customer in the UK. Uh, and prior to that, we actually announced a whole host of new um, capabilities, including uh, synchronous replication, uh, new updates to our fluid file system support, uh, a pretty compelling new form factor, which is a blade version of an Equalogic array. And so I think the 100,000th array announcement is a good milestone because it's been five years uh, since Equalogic's been a part of Dell. We've grown from 8,000 uh, arrays in the field to over 100,000 arrays in the field. And I think that it's really a testament to um, the continuing innovation that we've rolled out over the last year and over the last five years, and also the fact that the, you know, kind of those core equalogic uh, values, the core, core equalogic value proposition of peer scaling, investment protection, all-inclusive uh, software capability, and iSCSI are really continuing to, to resonate with, uh, with customers in the storage market. Travis, I know you joined Equalogic after Dell bought Equalogic, but obviously you know what, uh, you've talked to people, you know what things were like uh, beforehand. So could you talk a little bit about um, basically w what you bring, you Equalogic, to the Dell party and what Dell brings to Equalogic and whether you know, this uh, combination over the last four or five years has been successful? Yeah, if you look at Equalogic, uh, the Equalogic acquisition at Dell, um, it was really kind of the first major acquisition that, that Dell had done. Uh, and since then, there's been quite a few based, I would say, on the success that, you know, that we had with the Equalogic acquisition. So um, if I, I was part of Dell prior to the acquisition, um, but I've been 100% focused on the Equalogic pro product line since the day after the acquisition was announced. Actually relocated from Austin, Texas to, to Nashville, New Hampshire recently. Um, to be closer to the kind of the core engineering of the Equalogic uh, product line. And, you know, talking to people and seeing the, the whole evolution and the success that we've had with the product line, um, the investments that we've made, um, the innovation that we've had with the fluid file system, um, the fact that we've continued to innovate on the core product, um, the fact that we've continued to grow um, customer and, uh, customers and uh, adoption of the product, I think that if you ask anybody that was uh, part of Equalogic prior to Dell, they'd say you know all of that investment, all of that growth is a good thing because you know at the end of the day, um, you know we're innovators and we're engineers and we like to see our, our products and technologies get a adopted in the market. And so I think that uh, you know overall it's been a good thing from their perspective and from Dell's perspective, you know bringing a, a company into Dell, uh, bringing a product line into Dell that um, is you know developing our own IP had a very strong channel focus prior, uh, prior to the acquisition, which was continued after the acquisition, really shows that, that, that Dell, even though we're a much larger company, is able to adopt a lot of these you know, best of breed capabilities from our acquisitions and make them part of the, the core Dell, uh, core, part of the core Dell DNA.